We just got a whole lot of updates about Platinum Games, Bayonetta 3, all from Hideki Kamiya. Let's get into it. It's juicy. But if you like the video, you like me, you want to help me out, drop a comment, a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All helps out so, so much in the algorithm, and I do appreciate it very much. Hideki Kamiya recently had an interview with VGC where he talked about Bayonetta 3, the fourth Platinum game that we're supposed to get announced last year, but apparently COVID pushed it back, and Astral Chain. First, we're going to look at the Platinum 4, and the title of the article is Hideki Kamiya hopes fans will get a kick out of Platinum's special bonus stage announcement. Remember how Platinum Games teased four major announcements last year? They ended up being for Platinum Games, Tokyo, Project GG, Wonderful 101 Remastered, and an April Fool's joke, which didn't go down too well at all the time. I don't remember the April Fool's joke, but I think I talked about it before. Who cares? cares anyways because it's not important. It's also got one special bonus stage announcement that it still has to make. In a new interview with VGC Platinums, Hideki Kamiya told fans to expect something that's a little smaller in scale compared to the previous announcement, but hopes they will still get a kick out of it. We want to reveal it at the right time, but we want to say at the moment is that this was always intended as the Platinum 4, so I think that the expectation should be for something extra. That being said, this is something that we've had in the works for a while. I I'm hoping that it's something maybe Beautiful Joe related. Uh, that's an OG throwback, early Platinum Games uh, stuff. And maybe even if it was Clover Studios at the time, I'm not even positive, but I think that was like Platinum Games before Platinum Games. They made Okami and some other stuff, and they split up and went all their different ways, etc. Anyways, the plan was to get this announcement out sooner, but due to the pandemic, it got pushed back. We wanted to get this out a little sooner, but then the coronavirus happened, which I know is a common excuse, but we hope that when we start talking about it, it will bring a smile to our fans' face and we'll get a good reaction like, ah, we love those Platinum guys. So I think it's going to be something that is obviously a fan favorite why would he say that the fans are gonna go oh we love you guys if it's not a fan favorite people have been asking for a new beautiful joe for a long time certainly uh, looks like it could be something in that vein the project gg was kind of like a superhero continuation of the wonderful 101 and beautiful joe like superhero style of things uh it's more of like an ultraman looking game to me like a giant we're like fighting kaiju monsters and stuff uh that's gonna be cool when we see more of that but who knows what this could be it's a mystery but i think it may be beautiful joe related certainly hope so and apparently astral chain is now fully owned by nintendo platinum games has confirmed that the astral chain ip now belongs solely to nintendo earlier this year fans had noticed that the game's copyright notice had been tweaked on the studio's website with platinum games name being removed altogether speaking to vgc studio head at sushi in Naba has confirmed that the change is no mistake. It's as it looks. It's as it's written on the website. Astral Chain is their IP, and as such, there are limitations on how much we feel we should talk about. And this is really interesting. I love Astral Chain to death. If you know the channel, if you follow the channel, you know that about me. I've talked about it a million times. It's an amazing game, great game. Absolutely love it. Uh, and then now that Nintendo owns it, maybe we'll get, get to see it represented in other Nintendo franchises, how they like to do crossover stuff. Mostly probably Smash Bros. I'm assuming that maybe one of these next fighters is going to be from Astral Chain. So that'll be interesting to see. I'm calling it right here. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> So now I think there's absolutely no chance that we're getting Astral Chain on other consoles because it is owned by Nintendo. And you're like, but they, they put Wonderful 101 on other consoles. That's not owned by Nintendo. I don't think, at least. I'm pretty sure that's owned by Atlas, but they made it exclusively for Nintendo. And Nintendo gave them their blessing to put it on other consoles. It's not owned by Nintendo, as, as far as I know. Astral Chain is now owned by Nintendo. So here we go. Astral Chain 2, guaranteed exclusive to Nintendo Switch. Can't wait to see it. Obviously, they're working on it because Astral Chain 1 was such an incredible success and uh i'm excited to see where the franchise goes from here and finally bayonetta 3 has some news we any time anytime we get bayonetta 3 news it's always just like it's going smoothly <laughs> but recently <laughs> hideki kamiya said that we're, we were going to get an update in 2021 but here we're getting an update that he said fans should forget about bayonetta 3 which i think is interesting and i think he likes to troll and i think this is a trolly little bit from him like i said in my last video where he where we talked about the bayonetta 3 update in 2021 I think he's going to just drop a bombshell of, hey, the game's ready, guys. Here it is. Maybe we get a trailer, a demo, and then a couple months from then, boom, it's out. I don't know, but let's see exactly what he said. It's not really our position to say, but it's January. We've got to have something come out, right? I guess it's safe to expect that something will come out. There's still a lot of the year left is what I'm saying. I understand it's driving fans crazy. In light of that, my suggestion would be that maybe we should all re reset and forget about Bayonetta 3. Then when something finally does happen, it will be a nice surprise, won't it? I swear, I think he's trolling us and going, I, it's, you might as well forget about it, guys. Van at 3, we've been working on it for almost four years now, so I don't know. I mean, we got to restart. It's, I've told you it was going good, but I lied. Sorry. Feel like he's trolling us. He has to be. 
I think 2021 will be the year that we get Bayonetta 3, and I think he's just been holding it close to his chest to surprise us because people have been bothering so much about it, and he just thinks that's funny for some reason. I don't know. I think Kimi is a weird guy, and he's got those weird little glasses that he likes to wear that I like to make fun of. Uh, but God bless his heart, he makes some amazing games. So hopefully we can get a grubby little mitt on Bayonetta 3 this year. If you made it to the end of the video and you haven't liked it yet, what's wrong with you? Who raised you? Drop the like, drop the comment, subscribe if you haven't to really help me out in the algorithm. It does really help out a lot. I work really hard on movies for you guys, and I would appreciate it. And I, and I love you so much for doing so. You know, you already know that, okay? But there's links to everything in the description if you want to support us beyond just doing that for Patreon, merch store, all that fun stuff. Go check it out. I uh, also have a pinned comment down below with all the other channels that I work on, like a wrestling channel, my gameplay channel, my other channel where I do non-gaming stuff with skit stuff. Go check all that stuff out. Also on library. Bitch shoot and rumble. Check us out over there. I'll see you later. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. <laughs> oh.